Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.0.3 to the public. It's available to all iPhones that get iOS 11, and this came in for most people at a very reasonable 285.5 megabytes. Now this fixes a couple issues, but before we get into that, let's take a look at the build number. The build number is 15A432, and this time around it's a pretty minor update, just as all of the .0 updates are. So this particular update fixes two things and it tells you right here. So if you have an iPhone 7 and there was an issue where audio and haptic feedback would not work, this should address that problem. So if you have a 7, 7 Plus, those sort of phones, uh, and you had an issue with the haptic feedback uh, or the audio, this should fix that issue. Now it also addresses an issue for people with the iPhone 6s where they actually replace the screen with non-Apple parts. And if you did that, you may not have had correct touch inputs. So it should update that even though it's not an Apple part. And it actually says this down here, it says non-genuine replacement displays may have compromised visual quality and may fail to work correctly. So it says Apple certified screen repairs are performed by trusted experts. It's basically trying to get you to go to the Apple store to get your screen repaired. And in many cases, it's less expensive than going to some of the stands and things you might see in malls. However, uh, you can do it on your own if you buy one online from Amazon or something like that. And it still should work where it wasn't before. Now, this update also should address hopefully some things in the background like battery bugs the iPhone 8 Plus was having. This is my iPhone 8 Plus in space gray. And I had terrible battery life on 11.0.2. Now, I was running the beta on this. I downgraded it. And I'm not getting great benchmark scores when I go in and actually check the benchmark. I ran it three separate times and I'm only getting 8,000 range benchmark scores. Now on the previous version, 11.1, .1, which was the beta, I was getting 10,000 as far as the scores. And before that, we'll go back even further, 11.0.1, .1, I was getting in the 10,000s. But when we get to 11.0.2 and 11.0.3, I'm getting much lower scores. And now I don't know if that's because I downgraded without completely wiping the phone. That could be specific to this device. I seem to be having no response issues, anything like that. The, the 3D touch lag is still there, of course. It doesn't seem like they've fixed that in the 10.1 update or 11.1 update, rather. And they also haven't fixed it on any of the updates I've seen anywhere else. So that's still an issue. There's not really anything else exciting in this update. I'll be using it for a few days and let you know if there's any problems I see with it. But right now, it seems to be pretty solid, and they're just updating really minor changes. So we'll probably see 11.1 .1 for the public probably in, I would say a month or so, maybe less, but it's hard to say at this point, probably around the time the iPhone 10 comes out, we'll see that come out to the public. There's nothing as far as the 3D touch multitasking in this update either. So where you would double tap the home button, you can't push the edge with 3D touch. It doesn't work in this update where it does with iOS 11.1 .1 beta two. They haven't brought it back to this one. So that's it as far as this update goes. I'll leave a link to the wallpaper in the description below. And if you'd like to send me a wallpaper, you can do that through email or Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and send it to me there. And I also send updates and, and polls and things on Twitter. So if you'd like to follow along there, you can do that as well. Thanks to Cameron and Connor for sending this one along. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.